We're in central Victoria and we're in the southern edge of the Heathcote wine region. This region produces exceptional olive oil. We've had these 10 tough years. This year the harvest looks exceptional and we're very excited by that. The grove was planted in 1999. We started planting it then and we, the first year we planted about five or 600 trees and that first year was frantoyos and some kalamatas. So we did it over three years basically and we did it all ourselves. The next year was we planted lachinos and the new nauseas. We chose varieties which are robust and full flavoured oils. We didn't want to produce, be producing mild bland oil, olive oils. We've press them varietally because we believe they're such distinctive oils and this is something we didn't expect to do when we planted the trees. We give them a bit of water at um, flowering and fruit set time so we don't lose the blossom but after that they get minimal water and they survive in, the, in this sort of rugged environment. This is only a small grove, we, are, we have about two and a half thousand trees and this is where the grove will finish. We're not planning to expand it at all because we like to give our trees the care and attention they need. So it's about, I suppose, attention to detail and a grove this size allows us to do that. Rantoyo is often a grassy, fresh, vibrant oil. The Lucino we often find is a more buttery, robust, sort of heartening olive oil. The New Norcia has a robustness and a freshness, a vibrant sort of oil, and that, that's different again. I'm a foodie, I love trees, so olives, growing olive trees is probably a combination of the two, and I love gardening, and probably this is landscaping. The colour of olive trees is it's so complementary to the Australian native landscape. We, we love our relationship with restaurants and we like the fact that they enjoy serving and using olive oil from a, a small grower because there are some huge growers out there that have over a million trees and that is such a different game to what we're doing and we are this a family business and we established it with our children and here are these trees 10 years on. So rewarding and comforting to see the, the growth we've had and to know that there are great restaurants using the oil and enjoying it and knowing that it's produced so close to Melbourne, so close to a, a, a city, so we get a lot of pleasure out of our olive growing.